Moment. So, it's if not. I'm right, I'm working this out. You get five people in the final tonight, amongst them 12 year old Stephen and 10 year old Georgia, who are brother and sister. You two could, in theory, go up against each other as the last two standing. Yeah. Yes. In that theory. And that'll be fun. <laughs> that, <what? laughs> that'll be funny for everyone except these. Yeah. It would yeah, only be they funny, Stephen, if you won. Do you take losing well? Well, as long as I've got better than I expected, yes. Yeah. So if your sister whoops you, you're going to be fine with that. Then I will brutally that. murder her. <laughs> he means he's joking. <laughs> really? Well, that's a joke. Joking. That's uh, a joke. Mum and Dad, we say hello to Mum and Dad here. Kevin and Claire, the proud parents. Kevin and Claire Berwick. Um, you got a bit of competitive kids here, yes? Yeah. Very, very competitive children. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of rivalry between them in everything. Um, Where do, who do they get their brains from? Two brainy children in one family. Uh, we think that Stephen gets it from me and um, Georgia <laughs> gets it from Mother. Yeah. From Mum. So. Georgia looks very like you, Dad, though, I have to say. She looks like you. <laughs> now, a lot oh, of people dear. will say, ah, oh, we know their type, pushy parents. They've got pushy parents. They're sitting at home with a, saying, come on, more reading, more no. maths, no. more homework. Yeah. Are they? No. No, God. we spent not the case. Uh, Sam, I'm having the case with Georgia. I spent the whole time reading us on the thing else entirely related to what I was I, I wouldn't consider them pushy parents. They're not pushy parents. No, no. So are you quite Georgia quite hard working yourself? You sort of set knuckle down to things. Yeah. Yeah. Um and you chose, was it ballet for your specialist subject? Yeah. Is that because you do ballet? Yeah. yeah. Um, and what did you choose for your special I subject? I chose behavioural and I be behavioural and morphological dip uh, mimicry in arthropods. Of course you yeah. did. I would have yeah. chosen that. Yeah. No, yeah. I would have chosen That's that. That's an easy too. one. That yeah. one is. Really Everyone would have chosen that. Yeah. Mum and Dad, when did you realise? At once did you realise you had something special here with these two? Um, I think we've known yeah. from quite early on that they were both bright. Um, Stephen was identified as gifted and talented when he was in nursery. He'd got a really good scientific knowledge. He could reel off the scientific names of dinosaurs. He knew all his number bonds to 100. Um, and Georgia taught herself to read when she was three. So taught we knew... herself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she taught herself. Yeah. Um, she was so we knew... brother. Yeah. We knew they were bright then, but we didn't think that it was anything exceptional. We yeah. just thought that they were, were bright children. And when you realised it was exceptional, which clearly they both are, um, is this something, does it in any way, I mean, you're obviously very proud of them, of course. but does it in any way worry you? That especially with school, they say you know, very clever children can get bored. There's this competitiveness mm. between them, of course, as well. It's trying to get more the breadth of things that they're trying to learn, rather than actually getting their GCSEs three years earlier, two years yeah, earlier, yeah. it's better for them to learn more about life skills, learn yeah. how to cook, learn how to fend for themselves, rather than... Well, get they're going to learn a few things now. They're going to learn how to cope with failure. <laughs> That's what's about to happen now, because I've enlisted the help of Sean Wallace uh, from yeah. The Chase, known as the Dark Destroyer. We've got a very special quiz today, because we're going to put ourselves, yes, Ruth and I against I didn't Stephen to. I've been and Georgia. Forced. Not to be missed. For more of the same, just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Amy and Ruth, yes. here's your first question. Yes. What is a chemical symbol for water? P for Is it H2O? 